G'day, Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteroftraia.com. Now, I'm about to publish an article where I'll make out a prima facie case at Bruce Lerman's lawyer, Steve Wybrow, and uh, News Corp publisher Lachlan Murdoch should be charged with contempt at court for trying to intimidate Brittany Higgins uh, to pervert the course of justice to have the rape charges against Bruce Lerman dropped. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very powerful prima facie case. Now, just a quick background is that the Bruce Lerman rape trial was aborted because the juror was found uh, educating themselves, doing their own research into uh, rape crimes, etc. So the matter was aborted on Thursday, the 27th of October. And uh, immediately after the hearing, when it was aborted, the judge notified the parties it was aborted and it would be set down for the 20th of February 2023. Uh, this is what Steve Wybrow had to say immediately afterwards. Obviously everyone's disappointed by what's happened, but it would be inappropriate and irresponsible to say anything at this stage. Now after that, this is what Brittany Higgins had to say. I was required to surrender my telephones, my passwords, messages, photos and my data to him. He was not required to produce his telephone, his passwords, messages, photos or his data. My life has been publicly scrutinised, open for the world to see. His was not. Many of you in the media have been called out for labelling the last few weeks the Higgins trial. But I don't blame you, because it's very clear who has been on trial. He hasn't had to be publicly accountable for his actions or any part of his story. This is the reality of how complainants and sexual assault cases are treated. Their lives are torn apart. Their friends and families are called to the witness stand. And the accused has the legal right to say absolutely nothing. Like all women who experience sexual violence, I knew the odds were stacked against me. The criminal justice system has long failed to deliver outcomes to victims of sexual assault. In the ACT during 2020, only 16% of sexual offences reported to police resulted in a charge. And of that, only half that number again resulted in a conviction. That is to our national shame. I want to thank the other women who came forward and shared their own experiences. I believe you. You were with me every day I walked into that courtroom and faced them. I want to thank the people of Australia who have rallied behind me, those who chose to attend March for Justice. And I want to thank the workers in Canberra's healthcare system, without whom I literally wouldn't be here today. Now, after Brittany Higgins made her statement, not long after, Steve Wybrow put out another statement to the media, stating that he had made a formal complaint to the court and to the federal police who do the policing in the ACT. They don't have their own police force. Um, about Brittany Higgins' statement. Somehow he's implying it's in contempt of court and uh, by making a complaint to the federal police he's implying a crime took place. Well, based on what Brittany Higgins said, I can tell you there was no crime and it certainly wasn't contempt of court. I should know I've been hit with contempt of court four times, uh, mostly by uh, Kerry Stokes and his company, Seven West Media. But that's another story. So I know contempt of court pretty well. And uh, that was not contempt of court, what Brittany Higgins said, nor would it be a criminal offence. She was uh, just venting some, uh, I suppose, anger, for want of a better description, after the trial was aborted because of the stress it obviously causes her. So for Steve Wybrow to make a public statement, you've got to remember, immediately afterwards he said, well, we're not going to be making any public statements because the matter's still afoot. But then he's decided to make a public statement after Brittany Higgins' statement and say, oh, we've actually referred it to the court, we've referred it to the federal police and uh, we want all you media to know about that, but you shouldn't be reporting what Brittany Higgins said, but report what we've just told you, that how we've made a complaint to the federal police and we aren't going to be saying anything more. So why did he make a statement saying he's uh, made a complaint to the federal police in the court? He didn't need to. 
Um, he could have put out a statement saying uh, you shouldn't be reporting what Brittany Higgins said because the matter's still afoot and it could be contempt. That's all he had to say. But he wanted the media to report on the fact um, that he made a complaint to the court and to the federal police. And right on cue, let's have a look at the front page the next day of uh, Lachlan Murdoch's paper, the Sydney Telegraph. Big headline, Higgins referred to the police. He's making her out to be the criminal. Well, Lachlan Murdoch has a long history of doing that sort of crap. And I published an article on the, in August uh, 2022, only a couple of months ago, uh, outlining that as part of the article about him suing Crikey. I uh, looked at in Lachlan Murdoch's history of uh, attacking people, especially women, if they uh, are a threat to his uh, cash cow, the Liberal Party, who have handed him over hundreds of millions of dollars over the last few years. Uh, to his various companies. You've got uh, a job keeper where they would have gotten at least 100 million, maybe 200 million. You've got the $40 million grant to uh, Fox Sports um, for running more women's uh, sport, which there was no details ever given, just a lazy 40 million on that alone. Then there were, then there were various grants, etc. So Lachlan Murdoch, he'll attack anyone and everyone, including Grace Tame and Others, if they uh, dare criticise or they're a threat to his cash cow, the Liberal Party, and obviously Brittany Higgins, if her uh, rape trial is successful and Bruce Lerman is found guilty, that will obviously uh, raise further questions in relation to the Liberal Party and their involvement in the cover-up. So he's happy to attack uh, Brittany Higgins, and uh, he should be charged as well, because that uh, picture and the headline, absolutely disgraceful. There's no basis to the uh, allegation by Steve Wybrow as well. But even if there was, why did he have to tell the media? There was no need to tell the media. He didn't have to make a public statement about it. But there is no basis, which makes it even worse. There's no criminal offence that's occurred. And it's certainly not contempt of court. Like I said, I've been hit with four contempts over the last few years, mostly by Kerry Stokes and his various companies. So I know that area of law pretty well. And Brittany Higgins, what she said, is not in contempt of court and is fine for the media to publish it. There's no big issue there. Uh, she was just letting off a bit of anger after the uh, trial was aborted, which means it has to be another trial. It must be remembered during the course of the trial, it was exposed that Federal MP Linda Reynolds approached Steve Wybrow, Bruce uh, Lerman's lawyer, via text and tried to give him a few tips where some evidence might be that might help their case. And she also asked him for a transcript of Brittany Higgins giving evidence because Linda Reynolds was going to have to give evidence a few days later, which she ultimately did do. And that was ultimately exposed in court because obviously um, Steve Wybrow told the prosecutors that and they asked Linda Reynolds about it when uh, she was in the witness stand. But why didn't Steve Wybrow make a complaint to the court or the federal police? What Linda Reynolds did was interfering in the administration of justice, attempting to pervert the course of justice. They are open and shut cases for the federal police to charge Linda Reynolds. Did Steve Wy and Steve Wybrow is a lawyer. He would know that. Did he refer her to the police? And if not, why not? He referred uh, Brittany Higgins to the police on frivolous and vexatious complaint, which has no basis. Steve Wybrow needs to be charged by the court by Justice Lucy McCallum, who I know personally, I've been in front of her many a time. She was a defamation list judge at the New South Wales Supreme Court. So in the eight years that Kerry Stokes was running his frivolous and vexatious uh, slap lawsuits against me, I was before her numerous times, probably 10, 20, 30 times. So I know her well. She's handed down a number of judgments against me and for me a few couple of them. So I thought I'd just declare that. Now, she needs to step up to the plate and she needs to start charging people with contempt of court because if she doesn't, the whole case is just going to blow up and it's starting to now. You, it had to be uh, dismissed uh, because of the juror. Then you've got uh, Steve Wybrow, Bruce Ehrlman's lawyer, trying to intimidate Brittany Higgins with a false and vexatious complaint to the police and to the court. And you've got uh, Lachlan Murdoch using his media trying to intimidate Brittany Higgins now. He's a grub, absolutely grub, Lachlan Murdoch is. Now, Steve Rybow needs to be charged as well. What he's done, he, and he knows exactly what he's done. He's abusing his position to try and intimidate Brittany Higgins, trying to maybe get her to withdraw her uh, complaint to the police. That is a criminal offence, and Steve Rybow needs to be charged, and he needs to be struck off as a lawyer. And 
Justice Lucy McCallum needs to grab the bull by the horns and start taking action because it's become comical. Well, it would be comical if it wasn't so criminal. It's absolutely disgusting. Now, I'll be publishing an article on this issue on uh, Sunday the 30th of October 2022, so make sure you visit my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia, and you'll have plenty more information there with links, etc. And the Patreon account I set up about eight weeks ago is currently sitting at 219 supporters, so please support that if you can. You can donate any amount, like $3, 5 7 10 15 20 30 whatever suits your budget. Most people can afford $3 or $5 a month, and it helps me publish these videos and the articles I publish on my website. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you're watching this video on YouTube, and please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Thank you for your time, and have a good day.